Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the Sweetopia update to Walkabout Minigolf, as well as I introduce a new type of content called the Redemptions. It basically means we're gonna give a second go to the games that released way back in the day and had time to, develop so many features and had constant support, completely changing the game for the better or worse. Walkabout is a perfect example of it, and no, I'm not making this video because my initial video is the worst rated video in the history of my channel. Shockingly to me, the developers actually reached out to me and gave me the key to try out the Sweetopia, though not to the full game, so I had to buy it. <laughs> so this new update brings a new course called Sweetopia. It's currently part of one of the free DLCs that are paid to play though for very trivial price comparing to other DLCs on the store. I've had an experience with this game about two years ago and seeing this specific map was pretty mind-blowing. I wouldn't imagine Quest can process that many textures and details with no performance drop whatsoever and decide this update the game actually works pretty perfectly. There are some things that I wish would be a little bit different but at that point in the video I was kinda nitpicking and searching for something wrong with this title but I can see now people love it and why it's one of the best rated apps on the store. I'm not saying I'm eating my words from the initial overview because the game was rough around the edges, it's just that over time it changed so much and transformed to almost different thing. I think we'll do more redemptions in the future because there are certainly some projects that deserve a second chance. Let's go to the video! The last time I played this was two years ago. This is the biggest throwback in the history's channel, so I expect big things. I have Sweetopia unlocked as a DLC. This section is unlocked by playing. I see Babylon and Shangri-La are the paid ones, though they are dirt cheap comparing to other DLCs. <laughs> I can choose my face now. All right. Oh, this is kind of a deep customization for Quest. <laughs> Give me something standard, though. I mean, my hairs. Great. <laughs> Funnily enough, the map looks exactly the same, maybe minus the water. Do I think I've played it on the first quest, right? I've watched the video like a couple minutes ago and it seems the same, but then again, quest 2 has like a better clarity and resolution, so everything automatically looks better and this graphic style looks nice now, so it just goes to show you how the hardware can change things. I guess let's do Sweet Topia first because it just released and then if I'm gonna be interested enough, I'll do maybe like a quick multiplayer. I'm sure I'll find a match this time around. <laughs> like, this is the most popular application on Quest nowadays, and people praise it over anything of the store. Press trigger to automatically align to your ball. Holy... Wait a minute, this is crazy level of graphics, this is not even comparable to the main menu. Like that one the developers abandoned two years ago, this is 2022 level of quality. Holy cow. I think I'll just be teleporting like that because if I teleport to this, it's like I have to squint my arms around and it's not even comfortable, so... I don't even think the music was before. I still wish we would have smooth locomotion. We just teleport around. Hey! <laughs> Wait, I don't touch, because then it will count. I feel like the mechanics are way better. Oh wow, that was close. It's perfect putting to me. Not too strong, not too hard. Little applause. I've heard you can collect balls now as like collectibles. <laughs> it's interesting that we can just ignore the ball and just travel <laughs> through the world. Like this is so much. And it's just one core. What the hell is going on? Okay, let me travel a little bit more into the ward to see maybe like last hole. But hot damn, this is a lot. You can just literally get lost here. 
<laughs> this is so big. I don't see the end of it. Wait, now I'm actually lost. But I can return to the ball. <laughs> oh my god, here's the movement. Okay. <laughs> but for some reason, when I move and turn around at the same time, we stop. So that might be some Polish issue. All right, well, I hope someone will be playing. Hi. I'm the <coughs> If you have enough for hmm. 250 this more 250 Do you think we'll have enough with that though? I'm playing with someone but I feel like <laughs> That's what I mean, we'll just go to clubs or something We don't even have to do that, I'm not that ask me He's talking with really someone just... Honestly, it's, it's, it's entirely up to you. It'd be good for us to have a drink and stuff, but... The face even not. moves and stuff. This guy's looking and thinking, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is so far, like, just the ambience of the world. Eh? Yeah. And it's huge. Like, for quest, come on. So I can't hit when it's his turn, like the ball goes into the ground. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna be competitive in this game, like, I clearly suck How ass. Much is that gonna... How much is that gonna be? Though I'm not sure uh -huh. if you hear this or not, the audio just completely downgraded. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, definitely. Nice. That would be nice, princess. Looking forward to it. <laughs> no. <gasps> I might be. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. who's the champion? Oh, but I mean, it's not like my score is good. <laughs> Might go football tonight. Oh, he's from UK. Uh, the yeah. ball is like <laughs> with the flag and stuff. What do you think? Just look at this world, like what the hell is going on? Right. I think just purely because of the textures and stuff. It runs like amazing league on quest. Doesn't matter the size of the world really. But I feel like if we're talking about just death and stuff. This is the biggest I've seen. I think on the standalone, actually. Oh, the way I say. I'm getting it there. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I don't know why my competitive nature no comes around in this game, which is supposed to be pure relaxation. Right. <laughs> I've got to do a course tonight as well. It's got to be done today. Just uh, some online fucking bullshit that'll take me 10 minutes. I need to look at the angle, 90 degrees. Where are you at James' school now? I feel like he's talking on the phone or something. Yeah. 
Oh my god, you! You'll be back in a minute anyway, won't you? <laughs> steak. A bad shot. All the film today is chill the fuck out. But this is a chance. In the next two days. Oh, okay. Well, you know what I mean. Good day. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Because I don't want to lose. I'm not totally sure why the audio was smushed in multiplayer. Maybe it's intended to hear what everyone is saying, but... Wait, wait, wait. What was this tip? Flying mode. Point straight up in the air and push the thumbstick forward to take off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, what? Dude. Really? See, that's why I'm saying even the starting area is huge. Let me go back real fast to Sweetopia. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you see that? Like the extent of the world. This is so impressive from what I've tried two years ago. There's like a clear difference between the DLC paid courses and the free ones from back in the day. If it's due to the development in general or just moving on and focusing on bringing more content. I'm pleasantly surprised and I don't say it often. I don't even give second chances to games from overviews. But due to the fact that YouTube and just VR in general grows over time, this is a perfect exception to the rule since the time flies by, the developers work on their projects, you know, things can change from the launch day. I can nitpick few things like not moving in the same speed while turning and not, and overall audio going down in multiplayer, but you know, I still stand by with the first overview, though clearly now it's much better and polished, and I appreciate like that, developers just putting the needed work into their games and propelling themselves on the top of the list in terms of quality. All I can say is just good job.